The Power of Our Subconscious Mind concludes this series on what I want in my life, or when we say I want a life and we're just behind on achieving our goals to help you live the life that you want, what you want in life through the power of your subconscious mind. I'm going to share a principle with the Course in Miracles today that will help you break through on how to understand a little bit more about what the law of attraction is compared to understanding the power of your subconscious mind. Hey everyone, James Nussbaumer, and thanks for joining me in another episode of Everyday Miracles Moment on video. By the way, as you're listening to me, keep in mind that in the description area down below here at YouTube is an access link called Manifest Your Dreams. And it, it leads you to a wonderful free video on how successful people grow, how the habits of highly excuse me, the habits of highly effective people and how they get the life they want through the idea of the miracle, not magic. Yes, everyday miracles in their life. I hope that you'll check that out. But let's talk about why you're not truly tapping the power of your subconscious mind for the life that you want. Have you ever said to yourself, I want a life? Of the most popular things many are trying to figure out is what can be the secret for getting the life that you want. So let's move on and let me say that many of us know exactly what it is we may do, but what I'm trying to say is how do we take action as in the habits of highly successful people for discovering the secret to get what it is you actually want? That's understandable due to the fact that all of, say, Hollywood movies as well as the therapist's couch, so to speak, we could say, when it comes to what you want in life, does, does it, really, it does not really put the law of attraction in your lap to where you can understand it. So what I'm trying to say is to hopefully clear that up for you today. But read, first of all, let me say you can read more at my blog where I've written a detailed article on manifesting the life you want and understanding the power of attraction and by not settling for less. The link to that detailed article is also in the description area down below here at YouTube. It takes you uh, straight to my safe and secure website. And while you're there, feel free to tool around and, and check out my books as well. But let's consider what you can do now for how to mindfully open yourself to this power of your subconscious mind, which is the universe, the universe within you, not somewhere out there. Yes, the power of the subconscious mind, the power of your subconscious mind is the universe within you. When you are true to yourself in saying, I want a life, or I want this in my life, the power of your subconscious mind will go to work and get it done for you. So, but first let's keep in mind that just asking this within yourself, you were thinking maybe like you, you just, just asking this within yourself is not going to get it done alone. You have to have some commitment and take actions and you have to begin thinking like the habits of successful people. So let's talk about the number one biggest step for understanding the law of attraction and making it work for you is, is looking at what is the law of attraction? What really is it? So you have to understand it. But one of the very first things that you can do in using the secret law of attraction in your life is to educate yourself as much as possible on the subject as like, what is the law of attraction and of what you truly, and I mean, truly want in your life. In other words, what is the law of attraction compared to what you truly want in your life? Well, the law of attraction is what you want in life. Let me explain a little bit further. Try to get a grip on spiritual metaphysics for a second if you're listening to me. And this is why I so, so often encourage my readers and followers to learn how to do mindfulness meditation strategies or breathing meditation exercises. Mindfulness meditation is excellent for helping you to go within to your source, to your source of life, to your source of creativity, and reflect what you want into the material world. It works. It's not magic. It's miraculous. The Course in Miracles gives us this wonderful spiritual metaphysical principle that states by asking us, would you be hostage to what you do not want, or would you be host to what you truly do want? Now, I'm going to repeat that, but before I do, keep in mind that I've also noted that in the description area down below as well. But this principle really sets me free when I'm confused about what I want in my life. Again, the Course in Miracles states, would you be hostage to what you do not want, or would you be host to what you truly do want? 
So with that said, and I hope that you'll really take some time to ponder that statement, that principle, because it really will, and, and align that with what's going on in your life right now. But when you wonder and say to yourself or think to yourself, what do I want in life? Learn the very nature of the law of attraction and how it influences your life. The core of the secret of attraction to live the life that you want are your thoughts, your thinking, your thoughts, which goes a lot deeper than unfavorable versus favorable thought. What I'm saying is if you're thinking and focusing on the unfavorable, wrong-minded, negativity thoughts, you're just going to get more of that. But if you're focusing more on the favorable, right-minded, with optimistic outlook types of thinking, you're going to get that what you're aligned to. That is how the law of attraction works. So if you understand the genuine nature of this thought, of this way of thinking, I want a life. When you say I want a life, you will be a huge step above those who only doubt the law of attraction and the power of the subconscious mind. I hope this hit home for you. If you enjoy my thought-provoking videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would just love to have you as a subscriber. And as always, please thinking about your please be thinking about your own life always and about what it is you really do want in life and start shedding the light within you, the power within you, which is the light of who you are. We can say it's your, your truest God essence, we can say. It's the holiness about you. Begin shining that and reflecting it to the material world, focusing and taking action on what it is you want in life rather than what you absolutely do not want. I hope this uh, was, I hope this was a educational and maybe help some of you who feel a little stuck sometimes as we all can be. But as always, until next time, God bless.